Okay, so this is video number eight, and we're going to dive straight in and talk about meta optimization. So this is the description that is going to show up on the search engines. So just like the title optimization video beforehand, this is what people are going to see in this search engine when they search the internet for a specific keyword. So in other words, it's the description beneath the title and you're going to need to make sure that this is set up both in your posts and your pages. And this needs to be no more than 160 characters long. So let me show you what you need to do. Okay. So we briefly talked about this before, but I'm just going to do a recap here. So we talked about the meta description being important. So for images, like I showed you with the image optimization, that's why the description is crucial because if they're appearing in the image search engine, it will actually appear with that description and that title. Now, if you don't have a WordPress plugin that is installed, it's typically going to grab this as a title. And then the description usually is the beginning paragraph. So for congruency's sake, you want to make sure that that's why the keyword needs to be in the title, the first headline here and the description and you usually want to try to put the keywords down here but you don't want to put it too much sometimes it will look at the how many words you have compared to how many keywords that you have if you have too many keywords you're going to want to add more text if you have more keywords you definitely want to add more images as well so the more images the more text that aren't really that specific keyword the better. So by default, like I said, it's going to grab this as a description, but then as you have the WordPress plugins that we'll talk about later, you'll have the opportunity to add more metadata, which I'll show you later on. But this is sort of a video that's sort of a preliminary to discuss why the metadata is actually still used.